Bueno, Aarón, este, se salva el empate y más importante el punto que va con el empate. Este, ¿Cómo viste el partido de hoy? Sí, bueno, creo que el, el empate nos sirve, ¿no? Porque hemos tenido un poco de, de altibajos y qué mejor puede revertir esta situación, ¿no? No se pudo ganar, pero tampoco perdimos, entonces eso es lo rescatable, ¿no? Que, que, que seguimos en la pelea y pues ahora mirar hacia adelante y reflexionar todos como, como equipo que tenemos que apretar, ¿no? Porque se acerca al final, entonces hay que seguir con mucha intensidad y con muchas ganas como si fuera el primer partido, el último y y a seguir trabajando. Bueno, este, lo hablamos la, el, el juego del miércoles, es una temporada muy larga, tú hablas de eso, este, una semana de nueve puntos, nomás este, se logran acumular dos. ¿Esa es la realidad de este equipo en el momento o allí los resultados un poco deceptivos? No, creo que no, creo que sí nos ha tocado regalar goles, ¿no? puntos, el partido de Nuevo México, el gol que regalamos al último minuto, entonces... No creo que estemos tan mal, simplemente un bajón, ¿no? Se puede decir, pero estamos a tiempo de revertirlo. Creo que la temporada, como dices, esto aquí en varios partidos y, y no hay que, hay que mirar hacia adelante. Creo que lo que pasó ya, ya fue y ahora a enfocarnos en el sábado, ¿no? Que tenemos un, un gran rival, un gran partido y es ahí donde tenemos que sacar la personalidad para poder afrontar todos estos partidos. Oye, la última pregunta para mí. Hablas del, pro, del partido que se viene de hoy en una semana. Este, otro partido en casa. Vaya poquita suerte de perdida en, en tratar de darle la vuelta a esta situación con, con otra oportunidad aquí como local con, con, con la gente de Los Locos. ¿no? Sí, claro. Estamos en duda con ellos. ¿no? Creo que estos últimos partidos no, no han sido como, como lo hemos planeado, lo hemos querido, pero... Tenemos otra revancha el sábado y qué mejor poder darles una alegría a nuestra afición, ¿no? que es lo más importante poder sumar y darles una alegría a ellos, que, que si ha sido estos últimos partidos han sido un poco complicados. Hey, tú. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, this is, uh, it's, it seems like one of those games that feels more like a win than a draw, I guess, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think... The team, it's one of those games that like we in the locker room are just looking around at each other, just wondering like how we didn't win. But, you know, we didn't feel like we were good enough in the first half. And then in the second half, we just didn't give it enough in terms of time and, and opportunities. We had a few really close ones. Um, but I just think that, I don't know, we're, that luck just isn't on our side for some moments. Like Eric Calvillo's strike, I thought that was going in. Yeah, uh, the bounces obviously are, mm -hmm. are tough to come by right now. But uh, do you are, are you liking the team's ethic as, as you continue to move? Yeah, I mean, no matter who you are in the league, like you're going to have moments where things are tough. Like things aren't just going to work out sometimes. So we feel like our luck has kind of been running out the last few games. But, you know, at the end of the day, very it could have very well been a few losses in a row. But I think that the team, we just don't we we do our absolute best to like not make anything easy and we have full faith in the tactics of our coach as well as the the quality of our players so it's just we just know it's a matter of time when the momentum starts to build up again and you know those inches start to favor us you know small details and small margins eric how much uh, i mean you're less than 15 minutes removed from the end of this last game, but it was a, a, a three-match week, nine points at stake. Um, how much was tonight's performance, maybe the, the physical load from that, and how much was it just something's not firing at the moment? How do you make that, that balance or that analysis? I think it was definitely like some of the physical load for sure, but I think everyone's going to feel that no matter where you're playing on the pitch. I know the last five minutes, I definitely felt that when we were pushing hard. Um, I felt gassed, but... That's to be expected, but I think our substitutes when they came on, they they were phenomenal. Um, they really changed the game. They tipped the balance for us. Um, and yeah, like you said, the luck is going to swing our way eventually. Um, so we just need to keep our heads down and keep working hard, and then it'll it'll come around. And I know that this is it's your first season in El Paso, and uh, you haven't played too many years pro, but but you've seen this before. You've been a part of RGV in the past, mm -hmm. um, and this is not your first go round. 
it's a long season, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Especially through the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. I think most of it is obviously keeping the bodies healthy, but mental, mental fortitude is the number one, I think, no matter what, because the season's so long and you can start to lose momentum um, by this, by the little things, you know, maybe starting to get lazy here and there, but that's just something that I know our group won't do. And I think people are going to see in the second half of the season that we're going to, I think we're going to start tearing it up. So talking about a little bit of good luck, Eric, talk to mm -hmm. me about that. Uh, in one week's time, you get a, another opportunity to set things right with another home match. Mm -hmm. how, how much, how much are you looking forward to that opportunity again at home? I think the team, we know how much these home games mean to us. At the end of the day, we are unbeaten on the road, but we need to feed off of the energy from the fans more uh, because they're always here every single every single game day. So, I mean, I just I want to I want to win for us, but I also I also want to win for them. Like, it's about time, and I think we just. We can do it. It's just about getting that, that small margin to start to favor us a little bit more. Is it frustrating to deal with this? It's super frustrating because we know we're a good team. It's not like you go on a 12-game unbeaten run if you're not a good team. So, like, we play good football, and in the games that we haven't come away with points, um, we still have played well. And we know that... It's the fine details that make a team champions at the end of the day. Uh, and, you know, obviously coach has come in with this group and he's done the absolute best he can with us. And, and we need to keep responding well to the challenges we have, as well as the tactics that he's putting in front of us. So I think it's just, you know, we need to, we need to keep the faith. Um, I have full faith in our team. I have full faith in coaches as well. So it's not like we're not doubting ourselves now. It's just like, it's just not happening. You know, it happens. So. All right. Thank you, guys. So, Brian, I've, I've asked Eric McHugh the same question. It's, it's a draw that feels more like a win, isn't it? Um, considering our play, in the, in, especially in the first half, I, I would say, yeah, we're happy. With getting that late late equalizer, um, I thought it was not. I thought it was our worst performance of the year. Uh, so, but again, right? Sometimes good teams uh, find ways to to get points when they're not at their best. So it was a good it was a good response going in the second half. Thanks, Brian. Uh, sorry, uh, Brian. Uh, in in a week where nine points were disputed, you obtained two. Is that the present reality of, of this team, or, or are the results and the points accumulated a little bit deceptive and, and your team plays a little bit better than what those numbers indicate? Well, I thought uh, if we look at Monterey and, and we, we backtracked uh, San Antonio um, from, a, from an XG, from a stat standpoint, it was and from our play, I thought, it, I thought we deserved more on that, right? If we look at some of the chances at Monterey that we missed, um, we look at, okay, if Nicky Hines scores, uh, that ball goes in the net, the one he hit off the crossbar, no one's discussing differences in, in our play, those two previous games. I think I think it's fair to open it up for this game because I thought this was not, not a good performance. Um, but but previously, to before this, I thought it was, I thought, you know, our XG is higher. It's been higher than what it's been when we were in that 12 game or whatever game unbeaten so um first two yes this this for me like i said uh, i'm happy that we got the goal and a good good second half what about this particular match uh did you find lacking what what, what did you think was wrong yeah i thought uh i thought we looked uh unorganized in the first half i thought that we didn't have enough attacking ideas and that's something I got to take responsibility with. I got to look at that in the mirror. Um, that for me was was the biggest thing. I, I didn't think we were dangerous enough in, in that first half. Brian, ask Eric, um, does the fact that you know, tonight's obviously the third game in a, in a three match week, uh, how much did, did did that affect tonight, or, or you didn't think that that was the case? That's no, I think factor. I think it is a bit of a factor, right? I think the. 
and correct me if I'm wrong here, I think the last time we did this, we had San Antonio midweek again. And that, that's, that game takes a lot out of you. That's a physical, demanding match. Um, so for us, we wanted to make a few changes. Wanted to freshen up some, some players, and, and some players from a medical standpoint needed to, to physically have a certain amount of minutes on them to, for injury risk. So I think it does, it, it did affect us. And, you know, we're riding our center backs, Eric McHugh and Bense, pa Bense um, 90 minutes each game. Um, so it, this is natural for me to, it, that it should affect us. Yeah, for sure. When was the last time you put in four players at once? <laughs> I don't know. I think this was the first time in my career that I've done that. You pulled the trigger there less than 15 minutes into the second half. Was that, how, how did that decision go about? Um, we went into halftime. Obviously, we weren't pleased. Uh, we wanted to go into a, a different type of formation, a little bit more of a stricter 4 2 3 1. I wanted to see kind of how it looked and how it settled in. I wasn't super pleased with with how it was looking, and I decided to make changes because I think it could affect the game, and I think it, it, it I think it was a positive change. I think we took, uh, we looked more dangerous when when we made those substitutions. Last one for me, Brian. Um, speaking more a little bit about the substitutions, Chris Garcia, um, it, it was a pretty evident spark tonight. A pleasant surprise for, for his performance tonight? Um, that is something that Chris Garcia, we've seen him do, right? So um, I thought it was an excellent, um, like you said, spark of energy, a guy that can unlock a team. Um, a guy that's dangerous, and he's a weapon for us, especially when we're in situations like this, when we need a goal. Um, I think that's his specialty, and he's been on the – in previous matches, he's won a game winner that way. Um, so I thought it was an excellent substitution and a, a excellent uh, minutes from, from Chris. To that point, I mean, Mark Navarro's pass was the one that gets it done, and, and he looked he looked like the guy was going to get something from this. If, if there was going to be a goal or a point from it, he was on the end of things as well as the impetus for the goal. Uh, we had a pretty solid match in his timeout. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mark Navarro, again, right, the three-game match week with his, with his history a bit. I wanted to be conservative with him, um, and I pl I've played him a lot of minutes this, this week. Uh, but, again, a, an, an excellent con – he contributed – what he does best, right? His service were dangerous. Uh, we were able to switch point of attack to him. Um, so good minutes and uh, good performance from him coming in, and rightly so with the with the assist. Soccer seasons in general, and I know that you know. Obviously, you being in Europe for for your time there, mm -hmm. they're slogs. I mean, from the beginning to the end, you're talking seven eight months, and here in the United States, it's during the summer. Does, the, does that play into, you know, kind of run a form of teams? It doesn't seem like anybody can keep it up for a whole season. No, I mean, well, well when we had a good run of form, and excuse me because I'm my, it's been a long week for me as well, uh, so I'm not as sharp as I normally speak. Uh, listen, we're not in the best form right now. That's fact, right? We're not getting as many points as – as we did previously, we're we're not scoring as many goals as we did previously. Uh, we're in a bit of a, a a dry spell, I'd say, in terms of goal scoring. I think it's natural. Um, like I said, we're we lost two games recently, um, but we need some rest. Guys are fatigued. Guys are tired. Um, knock on wood that we're staying injury free at this time. Um, but I would rather have this type of spell now than come playoffs, you know. But you deal with confidence and you deal with things, and it's about getting back on the horse, and, and we need to get a three-pointer to get us going again and get us in that direction. Do you, uh, uh, do you think that your team is mentally strong and, and emotionally strong to deal with this? I mean, we scored a, a tying goal in the 88th minute, so for me, that they prove it. You know, so it's not always uh, going to be like that, right? We need to be better. We need to be better in in conceding goals. I don't want to, I don't want to score eighty eight minute goals. 
believe me. Um, but I think it shows that, okay, you know, they, we were tired. We had a long week, but we refused to lose. So um, I'm pleased with that. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.